right, I'm going to do a real quick video here on um, some final thoughts on the alcohol issue. Um, I'm going to make a few points here. Um, <clears throat> as far as the First Corinthians chapter 11 and, you know, a bishop, you know, saying there's not being able to give in the wine. It, well, you know, somebody asked the question, well, what about communion? Well, yeah, I, yeah, I mean, that would be the only reason, really, you know. Um, I just want to make that point. I didn't really make myself clear with that, you know, and, and also, um, yeah, I mean, I would say they would have the same rights. It's just the fact that when it says not giving to wine, it just means don't be a wine bibber, you know? So I did, I want to make sure I want to, I was clear on that. Don't be a habitual, you know, drinker or anything like that. You know, special occasions kind of thing. Uh, communion would be a special occasion. Absolutely. Um, you know, because, because um why would he not be able to perform, perform communion it wouldn't make any sense you see so i just want to make that point and also i want to also want to make the point that um that wasn't that didn't make myself very clear on as well is that um as far as like the synthetic you know wine and stuff like that you know if you're looking for wine or whatever and you want to perform communion or whatever or have a special occasion something like that and you want to have a glass of wine. Well, uh, I'm going to give a little bit of warning um, to what to look for when you're going out buying for wine um, or whatever. Um, I would recommend going to a small local dealer. would not go into Walmart or anything like that. We're not going to any big place. Uh, I wouldn't go anywhere where you're, you could be seen. You know, I just, I just wouldn't, you wouldn't want that kind of attention. You know, um, <clears throat> You know, if you're going to do it, just get it from a small local dealer that you know. Um, and that way you don't attract attention because people say, oh, you're a Christian, but you're buying wine. You know, you, you'll get that whole thing. Then you start the whole conversation, whatever. Uh, and some people can buy it online, too. That's fine. Um, and also, I want to make the point that when you're looking for synthetic wine, read labels. Read what's in it. Okay. Make sure you do that. Make sure that the fermentation process was the natural process and not synthetic. Okay. Um, a lot of people are pulling back. There's some people that are pulling back from um, um, the natural winemaking process, and that's wrong. That's where you get, you know, problems. So I just want to make that point. Make sure it says natural fermentation process from a vineyard. Okay. It was plucked and you know, they'll, they'll tell you on the back. It, it should tell you on the back and the label and all that stuff. So I want to make that point. And also on the live stream on Saturday, yeah, um, I'm going to be by myself, it looks like. Um, I don't know what I'm going to, I don't know what topic I'm going to cover yet. I'll, I'll think about it. I thought about doing, doing the study on marriage, divorce, and remarriage for the live stream. And because I've been asked to do that lately and, um, and so I may do that. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, we'll see what happens between now and then. Who knows? I may have another guest on um, for Saturday night. It just may work out that way. So we'll see. If, I, if I'm if i alone, um, then I'm going to do the marriage, divorce, remarriage study. Yes. So, but, um, but if I'm not alone, then if I get something happens between now and then, then I'll just do this, the study separately, you know, later in the week. So got a lot of things going on right now. Um, you know, the whole government shutdown and stuff like that going on in America. It's kind of got us worried. We're not going to get our tax return way. It looks, looks like, and you know, still don't have a job and doesn't look like I'm going to get one right now. So just keep us in your prayers. And, uh, I also want to say, you know, people have been asking me about the new, name on the channel well um it was supposed to be a it was supposed to be funny but the reason why we i did it is because um there was a cult i did a video a few days ago on rod of iron ministries it's a cult you know that's using the name that i've been using for the last you know year year and a half or so and and so i got to the point where i was like okay well i don't want to be associated with them and so I talked to Brian about it and he was like, yeah, just use my old name. I don't have a problem with that because I couldn't think of anything else to use. And he said it might be, he, he said he thought it would be pretty funny. I mean, it's just a, 
YouTube channel name. Whoop de do, you know, doesn't define my ministry or anything like that. So I mean, he's used that name for years and years and years, and it's kind of cool that he passed it down to me. So, but um, but yeah, I just want to make that clear. Um, I'm probably gonna eventually change it to like, you know, Husky 304 XP, like KJB or something like that. You know, we'll see. But um, and just take the 2.0 off and put KJB at the end. But um, <clears throat> but anyway. But yeah, it's just going to be the permanent name. I mean, we don't have much time left. I mean, I already know that. So I just want to do this quick video here, you know, about 1 Corinthians chapter 11. And um, just want to talk to you about a few things. So just keep us in your prayers. I really appreciate it. Thank you.